Floor looks like it protected the guests too well. Check the suite. Found the holographic woman from the Villa Fountain. Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! The doors, they... They sealed. They can hear the other guests screaming to be let out. To let go. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Oh god, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. I'm going to die here. I'm still being recorded by the holographic system. Feels like the cloud crawled in my mouth and died.
a sore throat after chewing on nails. You made it. Good. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. Do I? Sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it. it hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart. So I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable. Left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along. Knew about Elijah. No idea. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listened to my story. He... Sympathized. He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a... impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers, sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. That's who he was hunting for. Some courier. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, However that happened. I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. The gala went off. The switching station opened up. I thought the screeching in the auto dock was bad. Station worse. Got outside. Saw the light show, and it was enough to make me run to the casino. Also, it seemed like the lights and speakers were helping to guide me. Guess your master wanted a backup in case you died. As for being assigned to this floor, maybe it's because of my new voice. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it recognized me as a guest. Try and reason with him, see what happens. He's so lost in his technology, I don't think he even understands why anymore. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Yeah, still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. I can see. Check the route, recent diagnostics. A lot of medex was dispensed for Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. 
I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. No. They run a lot deeper than that. While I was hunting Elijah in the Big Empty, he trapped me in one of those medical research centers buried there. It... did something to my head, and I got off lucky. It's difficult enough to read now, and somehow the leap between what's in my head and words... It just ends up being a mishmash of symbols, not letters. Can still do math, formulas, equations... Writing poetry's out. Yeah, I saw records of other patients and what had been done to them. Some couldn't hear anything but static. Others just... gibbering wrecks. Never going back. And Elijah was on his way here, so I couldn't stop to see if it was something I could fix. If you can even fix what happened to me when they jabbed the electrodes into my skull and turned my head into a flashlight. Then I got here, and my voice got severed. Now I have a new one. Another thing Elijah has to answer for. Alright. I'm just glad I can answer you now. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. You're back. You sure you still want me here, collars and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. Fine. I hear my collar beeping, though. I've got the route to the exit all mapped out. Me, oh my. Would you stop? <laughs> Such a kidder. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. God, this script. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have the... Is that a plane overhead? Those bombers are nothing but big hornets buzzing around the sky these days. Is it gone? Alright. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. Malcolm, ever since our freighter went down... I feel like my heart's fallen to the bottom of the ocean, along with my... Ugh. Feels like the along with my down. career. God. <laughs> alright, alright.
is Knight Christine Royce of the Brotherhood. Christine Royce. You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. Fine. I hear my collar beeping, though. I've got the route to the exit all mapped out. You have the last rider. That's all I need. Now, go to the main model. That's right there.
You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. You did. Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? It's possible. This place is immense. And it still has power, food dispensers, security. Is it all for pre-war guests? Or for her? Love makes people do strange things. I won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't connect. If they loved each other, and they were together, I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is? If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? I just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not gonna show himself until you go down there. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... he's done so much worse. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... All right. All right, I'll... But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again, but know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. Doors on this floor are all operated manually in an emergency. Place is locked up tight. Must be key cards around somewhere. Begin again, but know when to let go.
walls. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pip boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've seen your pit boy archives, your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no. The blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The Pip Boy's operating system has vulnerabilities, advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. That thing on your wrist, it's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. It dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. Veronica? She survived Helios? She would. Resourceful. As for losing Helios 1, that was the only outcome aside from retreat. NCR swarming like ants over old world relics. Hoover Dam. Helios. I won't let those children seize anything else. Hard. McNamara can't stop them. Won't. So I will. With the old world as my weapons. Attack. No. Not attack them. Wipe the slate clean. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Undisturbed by man. I'll send the cloud. The holograms. Bring ruin in my hands until only I stand atop. The Helios one tower again. I'll scour over dam with the cloud. Rain its walls with spears from the sun. With an army of old world ghosts behind me. Holograms all. I'll kill them until it's only me. Me. Alone. In a quiet world. In a world that's nothing like what happened at Helios 1. You still have time. It started with a setback. Fires, blood. Beneath the sun. A sun so close you could touch it. Moments like that, however, failures, can provide the brightest clarity. After that, I wandered alone. Saw the storms of the divide, walked among the ciphers of the West, traveled to the big empty. I heard the signal. The woman's voice, the Sierra Madre, promising a chance to begin again, reversed my fortunes. All. Oh, 
nonsense. I tracked the signal. Came here. Sculpted the city using other hands. Kept dying on me, killing each other. You. You got the farthest of all. The callers, they're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. It's one of a series of models. The one in your name? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways, notably radio interference. A place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. There were two others there. A woman. And a man. A courier. The woman was for me. The other. I don't know what happened to her. The Gimpty's a treasure box. A scientific graveyard of old world misery. Like the Sierra Madre, there's treasures there. Sleeping. Some awake. The holo rifle, the Saturnite alloy, the hologram technology, hibernation chambers, securitrons, the callers. Even the suits attached to those things stalking the villa. That's only the surface of what's there. Right now, the Sierra Madre is what I want. What do I want? Weapons, security, a citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress, a weapon, a chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle. There's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable arm. Arm it, anyone stands against you, dies. No, there's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them, using its technology with the right applications. No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. likely trigger other security measures, if you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war, 
I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. The elevator? Then you'd be trapped for certain. No probability of escape. Even... Even if you damage the mechanism, there's a chance of repairing it. It might take years. But it's possible. Persist in threatening me, or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Ah. Clever. Whoever designed the Sierra Madre, their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. If you resist, I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk.